All right, hey guys. Uh, so you might be thinking, or people might think, that uh, if I ever get a Tesla or the Tesla that I have, it it just has you know instant and insane acceleration. Um, why would I ever let my teenage son or driver daughter uh, drive this thing or any kind of you know newer inexperienced driver? Uh, seems like a recipe for disaster. <clears throat> and maybe, but. Uh, there's also a lot of really cool features uh, that I only ever seen on a Tesla that allow you to do things like dial back acceleration and lock in certain features and speeds and uh, monitor where the vehicle's at and all this stuff. So there's some really cool features. <clears throat> I'll go into the safety stuff because it's like the safest car ever made. I won't go into that too much because there's a lot better videos on that that I'll probably link to in the description. Uh, but I just want to go into some of the other features that I think specifically are just great for uh, if you have a, a teenage driver in your house. And hey, as always, i um, trying to build the channel. So if uh, you like it or find it um, beneficial, please like the video and subscribe to the channel. That'd be great. So just a couple things on, on the uh, safety side of things. First of all, uh, Teslas are safest cars on the road. The Model 3, for instance, is uh, scored a perfect five-star rating in every category and subcategory. Is I'm not sure if I'm phrasing this correctly, but it has the lowest chance of bodily injury in an accident of any vehicle ever tested um if you don't know already teslas don't have a uh, front engine it's not it's a completely electric car so there's no internal combustion engine so uh the front of the car which obviously is normally where the engine would be you you lift the hood and it's another trunk um uh, usually people call that the frunk now so that's the cute name for the front trunk but the way that the frunk is constructed is really cool it acts as this crumple zone like a built-in crumple zone uh, for any kind of head-on collision so just night and day difference on a heading head-on collision with a uh, a tesla or a model 3 i mean you i've seen um videos and safety demos and actually real life uh accidents where they've hit a, a guard wheel or a telephone pole something that just center mass just caves in the front of the car and then you look at the inside of the vehicle and it's basically untouched, it's crazy. So uh, the, the, the crumple zone on the front is amazing. The fact that the whole bottom of the car is a battery. Uh, so you've got a couple electric motors in between the wheels and then, and then the whole battery, which is the heaviest part of the car. And so <clears throat> basically all this weight in the vehicle is just inches off the ground and gives it a super low center of gravity. So the rollover risk is, is uh super low uh gives it stability and all that and uh and and then you have the the glass i don't know if i can show you this the uh try and go up here a little bit so the whole front of, the whole top of the roof is this uh safety glass and uh <clears throat> i i don't know that there's anything super special about it but it is constructed a lot a lot stronger than say like a the normal roof of a vehicle which is which is normally like you know really thin metal because they don't expect that part of the vehicle to bear any weight or anything it's it's basically just to keep the weather out um so <clears throat> that's probably all i'll say about um just the just the structure of the vehicle and, and how safe and how safely it's constructed but also it has a ton of active collision avoidance um software and this this part isn't so unlike other um, advanced vehicles, although I will say for the Model 3, you get a lot for the money. Okay, so if I just scroll here, and uh, so I, oops. <clears throat> so you've got some of your um, kind of normal stuff that you'd see in a car, but uh, in, in a Tesla, I think it's, even way better i've had the vehicle um spot a car in front of the car in front of me so two cars up hit the brakes 
before the car in front of me even braked and giving me warnings about that type of thing. So it's really advanced. And then also in um, safety and security here, there's something called a speed limit mode. And so I can turn that on and it'll ask me for a pin, uh, same way if I try and turn it off. And so with that four digit pin, you can limit not only how fast the car goes, but it'll also lock in, say if you want it in chill mode. And in chill, mo in chill mode, the vehicle drives much slower. It's, uh, it drives more like a standard vehicle basically, which is good for a new driver. The Tesla also has a dash cam. That's what this little camera is. And so that means that it's, I'm not even going anywhere. I'm just sitting in the driveway, but it's still recording on multiple cameras around the vehicle. So it's kind of nice with all the cameras on the outside of the vehicle because um, I can, if I, if there was a need to, if there was a scratch on the car later or something like that, and I wanted to see what happened while I was in a parking lot, or I wanted to see, uh, or I want to see where the car was. I could go back and look at the logs. You can pull the SD card out and look at the logs and, and just follow the camera and see what was going on with the car uh, in the past days or weeks. Just about any of those safety features as far as limiting the speed limit and changing it to chill mode, I can do that remotely from the phone. So if, uh, <clears throat> if the car is at home and I'm at work and my son's gonna take it and I wanna turn on those features, I can just hop on the app and flip them on uh, from anywhere. So it's it's really great. And another thing that's really nice on the app is it I can log in and see the car's location anytime. And I've had that on other vehicles. I've had trucks where you could do it. And usually on other vehicles, that's done with like satellite. And so with satellite, it's like sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes you can get a hold of the car. But uh, I've noticed with Tesla, because it's all done through cell service network, it's kind of like calling a car. It's like, um, as long as it's anywhere where there's cell service, it's gonna be able to get a hold of the car and it's super, super much more reliable. I can't stress that enough. It's like, I, you know, anything from like turning on the climate to logging into the car to do anything else, it's, it's a way better system. So I'm sure, I would think that other car manufacturers are going to switch to that because it's just so much better than like the satellite version. But what I like to do or what I do sometimes, which is really nice is uh, if somebody else is driving the car, like my son, I can hop on the app and I can not only see where it is, but live time, I have his speedometer. And so I can just watch the car driving down the streets and see how fast it's going and you know, other information too. So. It's, uh, and I'm not like a huge micromanage, like, I uh, just don't want to catch, catch my kids or whatever doing this. But, uh, but sometimes you want to see where they are and what's going on. And so when you need that, it's really cool. And you have that available to you, whether you need it or not, it's available and it's kind of peace of mind. So all that to say, uh, I think the Tesla for any driver in your family is just a, a great vehicle and a safe vehicle uh, and you can you can implement certain features to make it even safer for drivers that need that so um, I think for our family it's worked out great um, not to say that nothing bad can happen people can still do stupid things or get in accidents but you can do that with any car and so I just in the Tesla appears to be about the safest option and uh, one that's a little easier to monitor and restrict and so uh, for us it's it's been great and i and i highly recommend it i haven't seen other videos like this and i didn't really even know this was possible until i had a tesla so i'm just kind of putting it out there so other people can see that um how well that might work out so all right guys uh thanks for watching i'll see you in the next one